obviously we have a heightened security risk at the moment and uh, for CCTV to be effective you need to see people's faces because whether we like it or not in this country uh, there's more CCTV per head than anywhere else on the planet with the most watched people and for that to be effective you need to see people's faces secondly there's the issue of integration I don't believe that you can integrate fully and enjoy the fruits of British society if you can't see people's faces, faces. And, and you know look at some of the statistics 58 percent of muslim women are economically inactive 22 percent don't speak english to any great level what we need to do is we need to ensure that these people are fully integrated into british society and you can't do that if you're hidden behind a veil how does this actually work because presumably you don't ban dress codes inside people's houses so it's yes. if they step onto the street what happens then? They'd be arrested? Uh, no, no, what happens in France, for example, is there's a fine. And what we're doing is we'll come in line with other European countries, such as Belgium, Bulgaria. Uh, there's a ban, for example, in the city of Barcelona, some places in Italy. And indeed, Angela Merkel's talking about this in Germany at the moment. And interestingly, uh, Manfred Weber, who's the leader of the biggest group in the European Parliament, is now talking about an EU-wide ban. We can either be on the curve with this or behind the curve. I'd rather... You could be a good Europhile as usual. <laughs> now, what's changed? however since 2013 when you said this is Paul Nuttall we what we wouldn't do is go down the line of yeah. enforcing a blanket ban we are a libertarian party what has changed since 2013